Right, now we've got all the connections apart. Push that back together and hopefully we can separate it. There we go. Windings and they should that should come out as well. Right, lovely. So bare case and what we'll look at now is cleaning it. I'm going to do it in two different ways. I'm going to use oven cleaner and the kettle on one of them and I'm going to use a good old-fashioned wire wheel which is over here. Have a look. Brass, nice and soft, spins very fast, no safety guards so make sure you wear goggles when you do it. I will of course for the camera. There's a wood rough key in the end of this one so See if we can get that out with a screwdriver. The pulley was already off of this uh, this alternator. Hmm. Maybe something a bit more angry. It's coming. Right, okay. Don't lose bits like that. And there's a collar there as well to stop the pulley being pulled on too far. Got that? Get them together. Now, very important to push it onto the bearing. So, you need a fire fail adjuster. A plastic hammer because I don't want to damage the thread. Hmm. That might prove a little bit more. Uh... back in a moment, just going to now find something to rest it on to knock it out. Right, I found a couple of um, short lengths of RSJ, because um, I haven't got a vice here, I'm trying to do it without a vice. This could be anything really, anything solid. Block of wood, a couple of bricks, breeze blocks, obviously the cleaner the better. Um, so we're left with the front casing. So. Um, to protect your thread, if you wind the nut back on the top end, my one's already loose so I'm going to be alright. Um, and then, that is particularly stuck, that one. that bit off. Another sleeve there. Just remember that collar goes back on to the armature. Right, now we've got two casings. I'll tell you what, before we do that, we've got one more bearing on the back here. So, This would be nice if I was doing it in the garage, it would be on a vice. Coming off though. This ACR alternator, the wires have got grooves cut in the spindle. So when we put the new bearing on, it's 
little sleeve back over the top. So that was that one out. That's the armature stripped. There's a couple of tests we can do on that. Basic tests. Uh, do that in a second. Mm, there's a circlip on this uh, on this bearing inside this case. So let's see. Look, nice and rusty that one. This bearing was noisy. Screwdriver in. That's out. Hope we can find that. <coughs> I did hear it land. So that's that. Socket in the hole. And out you go. Right. Two stripped casings. So now we can do what we like to them. Right, I've cleared all that away. Honestly clean. Not sprayed silver. That'll do for this demonstration two cases. Now, a little test on the armature. We've got battery under the bench with bench just two little bits of wire hooked up to it. So if you look at the wires, ready? 12 volts. Ooh, maybe jump. One end on the shaft. Like that. And your two wires that go to your commutator. No sparks, which is good. That's what you want. If you get sparks off either of them, it means your windings have gone to earth and the armature's no good. So you need another one of them, which is also available, but that would make the uh, <coughs> that would make it an uneconomic repair. You're better off sending it off and or going to the shop and getting a reconditioned one. Uh, I'm not sure on the price on that, but I shall check. Casings you can buy as well, front half, back half. Um, <coughs> they start from about five quid casings, which is quite cheap. Right, we've done that. Okay, the other test you can do, which I've already done on this one, is you put 12 volts down, down those two wires with an amp meter connected between the two, and it should read between two and three amps. That means your windings are okay. Um, Alright, let's get that out of the way so I don't tread on that. Okay, let's start with the bearing back in the front. New bearing, I've already covered it in dirt on the bench. Let's just get the price. Okay, these bearings, £1.50 each. Bargain. Slop it in the hole. Is that going to push in? Not quite, okay, so now what we want is a socket of a suitable size. To use as a drift. That on there, and case, a little split ring back in, this is bound to be a pig because they usually are, oh no, shocking, it's done, excellent, right so that's the front cage done, I remember the order now, now there was a collar for the front, I think before I put that in, the, before I put that in, um, just give it a polish up on the wire wheel, take the dirt off it, 